There are two words that really get bird photographers excited. Spring migration. Katie and I have been making frequent visits to prime migration sites. This is our fifth spring migration since moving to Idaho and we know where to go to get all the action. Where to go is easy. The real magic is knowing when to go. For instance, this creek bed has been a magical migratory hotspot in the past. However, it's a little far north and the trees don't quite have their leaves on them yet. No leaves, no bugs, no birds. So yeah, this is the right place, but it's the wrong time. Ah, but lucky for us, there were other things to see. Hey baby, so what did we see? Moose, which I thought was a horse. <laughs> I did not want to believe that was a moose because for some reason I didn't know they were around here. Did you? Oh yeah, I knew. Now that, that was a nice surprise. Seventy miles south, things look a little better. What a difference elevation makes. Our favorite canyon is brimming with life. Leaves, bugs, birds, it's all here. Now the pressure's on. This is a tight window, two to three weeks by my approximation. You see there's migration and then there's peak migration. So we're super excited because last time we were here, it was nothing like this. Like there are so many birds here. Spring migration is in full effect. Okay, listen, confession time. I get a little anxious this time of year. This is payoff time. I've invested the time scouting, I've invested in the equipment, and I've invested in myself. So there's no excuse. It's time to make some magic. I know a lot of these birds are just passing through, so of course I'm going to have a sense of urgency. I may not see the birds again for another year. It's time to bring my A-game. Focus, Josh. Focus. If only the birds knew how important this was for me. Even with all the effort, I can't get the birds to even look in my direction. For goodness sakes, pop from behind that stick. However, the sticks, they look sharper than ever with this new gear. We get so excited about springtime. We have seen so many birds. There's a big difference between seeing birds and photographing birds because we have been trying desperately. I know I got the chat, not some not so great pictures of the black headed uh, gross beak. I'm hoping Josh got some good ones of that one. Most of my pictures probably aren't going to be very good. I was struggling with my settings and my little focus point, like that was. And so then I just went and sat by the river and so just those Allen's woodpeckers are hilarious. So yeah, I get a little anxious this time of year. Once again, I'm realizing so much of this hobby is about attitude. 
I'm out here experiencing this beautiful world with my best friend. Additionally, we're fortunate to have our health and the means to even be out and about. So I tell myself, just chill out, it's bird photography. I think Katie has the right idea. Relax, sit by the river, enjoy the simple things. Yeah, that's, that's what I need to do. Employ my least developed virtue, patience. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna hang out. I'm just gonna watch this stick. Huh, payoff. It's amazing what you can see if you just chill out and sit in one spot for a while. Yeah, so that's what I did. I just gave myself permission to relax. No sense of urgency, just a sense of awe. Every year these birds return to the same location and here I am. I'm witnessing it. The leaves are on the trees, the bugs are plentiful, and I'm here with the birds. Peak migration, the most wonderful time of the year. Ah, but you know me, enough is never enough. There's gotta be more. I got a few good images today, but what about tomorrow? So yesterday I was 100% on the tripod and I'm gonna tell you I missed a lot of shots. Spring migration is awesome, only comes around once a year and you just gotta get the getting while the getting's good. And my primary, you know, my primary purpose is to get pictures and I just kept finding myself not being able to move around. But the flip side is, is I want footage for you guys to see so that you can kind of see what I'm seeing. No tripod today, 100% on the rapid strap and in the last 30 minutes, I got more shots than I did yesterday. So I'm gonna tell you, just being able to get around, huge plus, huge plus in bird photography. Okay, so I guess that's my advice, minor adjustments. Always be willing to evaluate where you are and be willing to adjust. Don't get too caught up in your ways. Experiment, explore, and more importantly, stay engaged. And be flexible. And if it doesn't work out this time, just chill out. There's always next year. Hey, I feel like I don't say this enough. Thank you. I know there's a lot of stuff out there to be watching, and I just appreciate you stopping by and checking this channel out every week. Thank you. <laughs>